Yo, what is going on guys? It is your boy Pup, coach of the Green Bay Drillbers, and uh, today we are having a quarterfinals match in the APL Storm Division. Um, it was a, actually like a very, very close call for us getting into playoffs. thought we were completely fine even after a 2-0 loss to offline, but as it turns out, there was a potential for nine people to have five and three records. Um, luckily, only eight of us had five and three record so i was saved by the last person uh, thank you aaron for beating pyro for me like I, I love you for that um but you know we're we're the eight seed we're the last seed in we're not playing the number one we're playing number two just because they got to choose their opponents friedel didn't want to pick me i think they were scared of my munchlax i think that's what it was um but i mean yeah we still have a really really tough matchup um dppt i think they went six and two which I mean is great, um, but they have a very interesting fi like fire and sun team that I'm really scared about. And they have all three of the paradox beasts, which is not fun to deal with. But if you guys don't feel like watching the team builder, it should be a timestamp so you can skip ahead to the battle. But I'm just gonna go right over our teams. DPPT has the gouging fire. They have walking wake, Corviknight, Torkoal, Hatterene, raging bolt with Terra, they have Pile of Swine, Hisuian Lilligan with Terra, and uh, Hisuian Quillfish. My team's also up there, with my Terra captains being Latias and Petrant. So looking at this matchup, like it looks insane. Uh, weather is so good into me, I don't really have any great counters. Um, but I think that they might expect me to go webs, uh, just because I need to counteract that speed somehow, even though my team is like very fast with base speeds. Um, I feel like they really need to set up the sun. So I feel like they might expect webs. So I'm bringing a choice specs for Bombi. Now you might say, well, this thing gets absolutely trashed by Corviknight. And I would say that you're exactly right most of the time. So if we, um, if we run into Corviknight, if they're not Brave Bird, we actually beat it with Psychic Noise because they can't touch us at all. Um, they, yeah, they literally cannot touch us if they're not Brave Bird. Um, so we use Psychic Noise, they can't roost, blah, blah, blah. Um, once that thing is gone, however, like, their team gets destroyed by Moonblast. Everything gets, like, two or three at KO'd by it. Even, like, Torkoal, which resists. Um, and they don't have good switch-ins at all. Because um, stuff like that Torkoal, they don't have really good recovery. And we just bring Rabombi in and outspeeds their entire team, which is really nice. Um, we also have, so I said Moonblast, Psychic Noise. We have Solar Beam, uh, which is there for the Pylo. But... I'm thinking about changing this to switcheroo so I can um, pawn off my specs on something like that Corviknight, which would be really nice. Even the, the Quillfish would be really good. Like the specs aren't absolutely needed in this matchup. We're still pretty powerful. Um, but I mean, we, we're just whittling people over time. This thing could, uh, could uh, sweep in the late game. It just really depends on how it goes. And Solar Beam really isn't needed. It's really sun dependent. I think I'm gonna go to switcheroo just in case I want to click that on, like, the Corviknight. We've also got a Rocky Helmet Scizor. So this pretty much is our Corviknight switch in. It also switches in on the Hisuian Quillfish and kind of the Pile of Swine um, and, like, Hisuian Lilligan, sort of. So we're, like, max defense, max HP. Um, and we're just, like, a, a big physical wall uh, with Rocky Helmet just so we can chip down some of the things on their team. And we have Defog because I really hate rocks versus me. And I also think that spikes go kind of crazy. I'm not sure if they would end up bringing like toxic spikes, um, but this is be immune to those anyways and can defog them. Um, we also have U-Turn, Bullet Punch, Close Combat, which is decent coverage versus them. Uh, nothing crazy and we're not like banded, so we're not gonna do that much damage, but it could be nice to get a little bit of chip off, especially on something like that Torkoal that we really want gone as soon as possible. I also brought the Belly Bolt as another physical wall. Um, this thing is mostly for gouging fire though. So we have leftovers with Toxic, Protect, Static, and uh, or, sorry, Discharge and Slack Off, uh, max HP, max defense. I'm pretty sure it's a roll for two adamant banded earthquakes to kill me. Um, so after protect, we should be just out of range or it'll be a very, very much in our favor. Uh, but we like can toxic things that uh, we don't want to get static, um, like stuff that wants to set up. Um, that static can get like paras on stuff like the Hatterene that can't normally get like a toxic off on. 
Um, but we have Discharge, which is really decent damage into their team. They only have one immunity, which is Pylo, which I'm not even sure if they bring. I do think it looks pretty decent, but they have a lot of mons that look really good into me. And then Slack Off is really nice just to get our HP back. Um, the one thing is this doesn't beat like sub Dragon Dance, which is very, very scary for my team to deal with. Um, yeah, like sub Dragon Dance kind of goes crazy. Not sure if they're going to end up bringing that. Uh, but if we if they do, we have other things that could potentially beat that. Um, and we definitely have things that won't let it in and won't let it set up in the first place. My bad, my bad, my bad. All right, we got Latias as well. Uh, Terra Ground on this thing. So this definitely doesn't allow um, them to, to set up on me. But we're Soul Dew. So that's going to power up our um, Draco Meteor and Mist Ball. We have Thunderbolt as well for the Corviknight and then Terra Blast Ground. It's just really great into their team because it hits like the Quillfish. It hits the Raging Bolt before Terra. It hits Torkoal. It hits Gouging Fire. And the rest of their team, like, nothing wants to switch in on that anyways. If it's a Corviknight, we just hit him with a very, very hard Thunderbolt. And with this thing's base speed, it actually outruns everything on their team. I could even take out four EVs to outrun everything on their team, which is great. Um, but if they do set up the Sun, that's going to be pretty unfortunate with, like, the Lilligan. Um, maybe, like, a the booster in speed for like gadget fire or walking wake would be a little bit frustrating as well but you know this thing does a lot of work and i've done a lot of dual dance i've done a lot of like a bulkier latiases not this time this time latias is coming to take some lives i've also got king gambit here just a very very basic king gambit with black glasses supreme overlord sucker punch kowtow iron head sword stance thought about defiant um, because that quillfish is really annoying for me but i kind of just set up on it i don't think it gets any fighting type moves and even if it does we're decently bulky um and we just like set up sword stances we click kowtow and iron head into most of their team sucker punch is also great versus them with all of their sun offense um we do have to get some 50 50s right and i know this is gonna be an uphill battle so i have to play very well so getting those 50 50s right if we can do it we can actually secure this game um, but we're also running max attack adamant you know very very basic sort of thing and then 104 hp for special defense and then 148 speed which seems a little bit interesting but i wanted to outrun um corviknight and corviknight normally gets like 170 with no investment so they might like creep up to 172 expecting me to go to 171 so i went 173 i just thought it would be fun um but i can also like be faster than stuff like pile of swine um, I can be faster than max speed Hatterene as well. And then our last Mon on the team is going to be Crocodile. Uh, we're rocking the Expert Belt with Moxie. So this can definitely sweep. I have Scale Shot to raise my speed, and it's also super effective against all their dragons. I have Earthquake, which is just great stab into them. Fire Fang is really nice for the Corviknight, um, even in the sun. Um, if they're not max Fizz Def, then like if they're special defensive, then I two shot them in the sun. If they're physical defensive, it's like three shotting. But if I get a couple moxie boosts, then I'm in a good spot. And then knockoff is always just really nice, especially because they have two Eviolite users on their team. But once we get a scale shot or two off, we should be outspeeding their entire team. Um, and we are outrunning the adamant um, gouging fire, which I do think they're going to run adamant. It's just way better than Jolly. Um, but I'm just kind of trying to read them and call that they're going to be adamant so I can run adamant as well. And with the expert belt, we just do a lot of damage. Um, the one thing that stops this is like body press corv is really annoying to me. But if I'm able to get some kills, get some moxie up, or just get some damage on that corv, then we do a lot of damage with the sun boosted fire fang. Uh, but like I said, this is going to be an uphill battle for sure. Um, but this team can absolutely do it. I, I definitely trust in it. But if not, it's been a good run in the APL. And we've had a good time, met a lot of cool people. Um, and, you know, it just hasn't been our draft. We didn't draft, like, great mons. We drafted a lot of fun mons. But it definitely wasn't great. Uh, but, yeah, that's about it. I'll see you guys in the battle. All right, we're here against DPPT. No gouging fire is really nice. I do hate seeing Corbinite here. They did bring Sun. No Hisuian Lilligan is also fine, but they brought like a very specially um, offensive team. So me bringing like two physical walls is really bad. 
Um, but yeah, I mean, that is pretty unfortunate. I could see just like a scissor lead looks pretty decent. Um, even Hatterene is fine. I think I can just go Belly Bolt to start off. It looks pretty decent in this game. I do just lead Hatterene. Yeah, and I mean, this thing, it can do a decent amount of damage, but if I get a Discharge Para, then I'm chilling. We don't, it's just gonna Calm Mind up. That's kind of annoying, to be honest. I'm just gonna Discharge it again, maybe get the Para. No, okay. <laughs> All right, we get it from Static, that's nice. And I'm just gonna go into Sizzler here. If they're draining, I'm gonna hit them with Rocky Helmet. All right, yep. And obviously they can Mystical Fire me. Um, but they should be afraid of bullet punch here. Yeah, and they just go Torkoal. I, I thought they might just do that. Awesome. I can just go right back out into Belly Bolt here. And I'm not going to risk throwing off a Toxic, but I'm just going to Discharge. And it's great versus them. I, mean, I could even throw off a Toxic. I just don't want them to go back out into Hatterene. Ah, uh, they go Raging Bolt. Fair. Very fair, and this is gonna hurt. A Draco probably knocks me out here. Uh, it's a roll. Are they gonna call Mind? I don't know. I'm just gonna throw off Toxic. I could Protect, but they do call Mind. Okay. Awesome. I figured they might. And now, Dragon Pulse at this range is probably knocking me out, so I'm gonna go for Protect. So they do Dragon Pulse. Awesome. Now, hmm. I probably don't die. So I'm going to slack off. Yeah, they do Thunderbolt predicting a switch. So I slack off back up to full. Now they probably Calm Mind here. Um, is it worth getting the damage with Discharge? I do think it is. As they go Quillfish, come on, give me a Para. Give it to me, give it to me. Ah, nothing. Man, and this is just going to try to para me, I'm pretty sure. So I'm going Scizor. Say Bar Barrage. Awesome. And I will get a slow U-turn out on Torkoal again. Yeah. I also could go straight out to Crook at this point. And threaten with an Earthquake and then click Fire Fang. That's not really doing too much to the Corv, though. If they're full Fizz Death. I'm just going to go back out to Belly Bolt, man. Throw off another Discharge. They go Quillfish. Let's see. Para, Para. There we go. Let me just go Scizor. As they Pain Split. That's fine. I really do not care. I just U-turn. Getting the chip on this Torkoal. They do get the, the Sun up, though. Now, at this point... Uh, it's a little bit too high for Lottie to come in and kill. I'm just going to go Belly Bolt yet again. I mean, this thing is just great in the matchup. As they go back out to Raging Bolt. But, I mean, this Toxic is going to chip down. They can't really do too much to me this turn. I will protect. Calm Mind makes a lot of sense here, though. Uh, but I never die at plus one if they're not Draco. So they double out to Walking Wake, that's fine. I'm just going to Discharge. If I get a Para, I'm in an amazing spot here. So they send off a Draco that does 58. Come on. Uh, no Para. Let's see. Draco Meteor did 58. Is that Choice Specs? Oh wait, never mind. This is calculating them at minus two. Let's see, that's no boosting item. And it's a it's a low roll as well. I'm just gonna discharge again. They go hat. That's fine by me. Get a huge amount of damage off, actually. Now they could predict me to go scissor here. But also maybe they would just think that I would protect. So I'm just gonna make the obvious play go scissor. Um, and then Bullet Punch. I'm not even going to predict with the U-Turn. Yeah, they say the Goat's putting in work. This thing is putting in too much work. I do feel like they should probably either Calm Mind or Draining Kiss this turn. 
I think Calm Mind is the best play to predict, like, protect. So they Psy Shock. That's a decent play as well. And then I'll Bullet Punch here. As they go Corv, that's fine. Do 9% to Corv and their Leftovers. 9%, that's looking like max defense, which is really annoying. I'm just going to get some chip. Oh, okay. That's a little bit of chip. And they go out to Torkoal. <laughs> they take zero. Oh my goodness. They took 20%. So they're like, they're very physically defensive. They're probably max fizz def. That's crazy. Let's fold. I'm getting a lot of really good intel in this game, obviously. Um, yeah, I don't mind if you turn fine wrong. Let's see. What do I go out to here? I'm thinking Lottie is amazing into everything on their team. So I'm going to go out to it. As they just set up their rocks, that's fine. Um, Draco is a free kill, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, Draco. Well, I could just Mist Ball. Or Terra Ground Terra Blast. Terra Ground Terra Blast actually goes crazy. As they go Quillfish. Yeah. Alright, yep, that thing dies to another one. And I could T-Bolt here if they want to go Corv. Yes, I caught it. Let's go. I'm making so many great plays right now. Let's absolutely go, man. As they're just going to sack off the Quillfish now. That's insane. Um, my Crocodile goes absolutely crazy. As they go out to Hat. I mean, Calm Mind is really scary here, so I'm going to go Scizor. Yeah. If they kill me, then I go Crook and get a Moxie. As they double out to Corvi. That's fair. Um... Hmm. I'm thinking about either defogging. Yeah, I, I feel like defog is just the best play. I knew they were going to roost, so I could have CC'd. That's whatever. We do live a body press. We get a U-turn off. And I can either go Lottie or Belly Bolt. I think Belly Bolt's really good here just because I get um, leftovers recovery back. And Discharge is completely free versus them. Yeah, this thing's putting in a crazy amount of work. And we also have just been making the plays, so I'm really happy about that. I wonder what they want to do here. They go Hatterene. Okay, that's fine. You take those. Does 30%. That's a good chunk. I'm just going to go for another two to take it out as they draining kiss. Yeah, that is definitely annoying. I think I always win this 1v1. So they click Psy Shock instead, it does zero. Um, I'll go Scizor this turn. As they get fully paralyzed, nice. Let me just throw off a Bullet Punch. Like I could predict with a U-turn, eh, they go Corby. Oh well. I think I'm just going to close combat. Body press does not take me out, and they're going to take a bunch from the CC. Yeah, they cannot roost either. Okay, they just roost. All right, buddy. Yeah, I guess they can roost, but they can't roost up that much. This is the max that they're going to get. So they're at 49. I think Lottie just comes in and clicks T-Bolt. It also outspeeds everything on their team without the sun. So I'm just going to go for T-Bolt. They should probably go out to Torkoal. Yeah, they should definitely go out to Torkoal. Just set the sun. They have to sack something and go walking wake. I think that's the only play. And like, Rabombi and Kuroka look amazing in this endgame. They go Raging Bolt. That's fine. As it takes 6%, um, yeah, Terra Blast Ground 100% knocks it out. I could also Mist Ball, but 
Um, I feel like Terra Blast Ground is a little bit better versus them in case they want to go Hat. Oh, there's Shucka. I do still knock him out though, that's crazy. And now they go Torkoal. They get the sun up. Um, I Terra Blast them. They could go Corvi, but nope, they just sack it off. All right. And here's where it gets scary because we got Walking Wake in. And here I just am going to drop a Draco. Hydra Steam is going to take me out for sure. 100%. And then I just go Belly Bolt here. They can never knock me out. I'm just going to Discharge. A Para would be so huge. Give it to me. No Para. Okay. I'll Protect up. Hydra Steam does 60 to me. Um, they don't have that much longer. Hmm. Yeah, the no paras is really frustrating. I'm just going to go for a double. I do get it. Now they have three turns of sun left. Man, how do I guaranteed win this game? I think I might have to sack Rabombi. How much is Rabombi doing to Corby? It's a 2 KO, never mind. Alright, I just go for a triple. It fails. This turn I go Gambit. And I can just Sucker. Or I can Kowtow. This is a huge play right here, and I'm just going to sucker it. They go Corby. That's fine. Kowtow is doing 50%. They body press. It does not knock me out. All right. I get a crit. That is huge. Uh, but I'm still doing 50% each turn, no matter what. It's just a matter of time. And I click Sword Stance that turn, so now I one-shot them. Body press, I live. And Corv is dead. I think I have this. As they go walking wake. I mean, I cannot risk a sub. They lock themselves. Well, if they're locked in, they're locked into flamethrower. So now I go Rabombi and I click Moonblast. If they are locked into flamethrower, it's a roll to kill me. In my favor, I do just get the Moonblast off. And then the Hatterene comes in, it's at 58%. This thing is going to die. Just dies in one because we're specs and GG to our opponent there. Get a huge dub against DPPT. I was really scared about that, but I made amazing plays, man. I completely outplayed them. I think that was really the like what defined this match uh, because their team was really scary. And you know, when that walking weight got in under sun, it was really bad for me. So I just had to make some really good plays and I did. Um, and yeah, we're moving on to the next round of the playoffs. Very, very happy about that. Really thought it was gonna be one and done in here, but yeah. Uh, but that's gonna be about it. If you guys do enjoy the draft league content, I would really appreciate it if you guys left a like and subscribe to the channel. We're just about to hit 100. Uh, but yeah, that's about it. See you guys in the next one. Peace out.